Hello everyone, welcome to From the Heart. I'm Joshua. And I'm Mary. We're excited to bring to you all that's new and good when it comes to the arts in Central Florida. Today we're learning all about the Orlando Ballet. David Kayak, principal dancer from the Orlando Ballet, is here to talk about his journey in dance and his personal vision for himself and the future of ballet. Welcome, David. Welcome. Thank you. So David, tell us a little bit about what you were like as a child and how you got involved in dance. Well, I, uh, I was born in Athens, Alabama, which is just outside of Huntsville. Um, that was interesting in of itself. Um, can leave that for later. Uh, <laughs> the, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what, leave what, what for later? Yeah, what was interesting? <laughs> oh, okay. And where's your accent? Okay, I know. So I was homeschooled. I was a homeschooled oh. kid, and that's why I don't have the accent. My okay. parents are originally from Alabama. Uh, my sister was involved in, in dance when, when I was young. She was taking classes, and ever since I was walking, my parents would say that I would be dancing around and putting little shows on. I was a little artist and kind of bossy, and tell, I would tell them to like sit and watch. Was my own, <laughs> they were my audience. Um, so they decided to put me in ballet because I was exposed to it there. Um, just a little school in Athens, Alabama. And um, from there, I started when I was five. And did you take to it right away? Were you able to do the leaps and the splits and the... Yeah, I was, it wasn't, for some people it's really difficult. It wasn't, it, I didn't, it didn't seem too difficult for me. Some people were just born to do that and I think I was one of them. So your first role was at five years old. Oh yes. And what was that role? I was a caterpillar. Oh, oh a caterpillar. Caterpillar. Well, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so from Caterpillar to principal dancer of the Orlando Ballet, yes. tell us the journey from Caterpillar <laughs> to when you got your first role as a company member. It was in Alabama. Yes. What, what was it like? What was that journey? Was it lots of work? Was it lots of no's from people? Or were you always a, getting a yes? Like, what was that journey like? Well, first of all, ballet is not very popular in Alabama. Um, everyone plays football. <laughs> and if, unfortunately, I, that was not me. So I'm glad I was homeschooled. That allowed me. My parents were so gracious to allow me to be involved in ballet because that was not something most people did. So, um, but going back, the uh, were you often the only guy in your classes? Yes, yeah, very often. Um, but I love that they supported that because for some families there's that stigma with a, a young man being in ballet, but they supported absolutely. your talent. Mm -hmm, they Good did, and oh, it's it's really encouraging to see when I go back to where I'm from, I see so many other young guys just because I was one of the, mm. one of the only guys that sort of made it there. So um, I was, it was interesting. But growing up, going to school, I was involved in a lot of other things at the time. Um, of course, most homeschool kids are, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> what were some of the other things? Oh, I was a swimmer. Uh -huh. I played the violin. I played the saxophone. I uh -huh. was involved in Boy Scouts. I was in, I don't know, there were so many different things. Man. Yeah. Do you sing or act? I sung at one point. Um, I was involved in a, in a little choir. Um, I took acting lessons as well. Uh, that sort of fell by the wayside because ballet took up so much more time. And as, the, as I got older, it's, you sort of narrow those things down sure. because you have to start making room for um, whatever you're really going to pursue. And ballet takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. It's not just something you can do once a week. You have to do every, every, every day. Every day. You were telling us earlier how every day you go, and how many hours a day do you rehearse, and so how many days, hours a day are you dancing? Well, we start at 9 a.m., mm -hmm. and we'll usually finish around 5. We have an hour and a half class in the morning mm -hmm. just to get, we work on technique, we, um, we sweat a lot. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of our time to get ready for the day but also work on whatever we need to work on. That's so, great. so ballet is really your life. I mean, mm, but and I'm sure there's many great things about it, and I'm sure there's many things you're like, oh no, not that in the ballet. What are the things that you love about dancing, and what are the things that are really hard for you? Well, what I really love uh, is to, when, it, when you get to the point that you're on stage, and uh, once you're there, you sort of become a different person. All that all that time you spent just rehearsing and trying to figure out steps, and it takes so much time to do that. Once once you're on stage, it all goes away, and then you become a character. It's, so it's sort of fun. You just fly with, with what yes. you've rehearsed, and mm -hmm. what's that like when you're leaping across the stage? Does it go in slow motion ever? Like, I can't believe sometimes, I'm doing this. Yes, sometimes. <laughs> Even if it goes even slower when you fall on stage. Oh, has that right. ever happened? <laughs> <laughs> that has happened. <laughs> it's fun, and I think it's happened to most people. Um, wow. The audience oh. uh, supportive? Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And speaking absolutely. of falling, is injury something that you worry about or concern yourself with as a ballet dancer? It is. Ballet is very hard on the body. It's, 
people don't realize how athletic it is and how difficult it is. It's not, it's not something the body naturally does. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's another reason why it just takes so many years and years and years and years of training to get to the point that we're at now. As a and a career members. usually lasts what? If, with no injuries or very few, what is the age? If you're really lucky, you can make it to 40. Wow. Um, some guys can go longer. Uh, it, it really just depends on how well you take care of yourself. And what do you think you'll do after your career at 40? <laughs> well, I want to stay. I want to stay involved in ballet in some capacity, whether that's teaching, or chore choreographing, or. Think you might start your own company? Ah, uh, maybe. Who knows? That's. I like to think that's that's long. That's way down the road. <laughs> so you want to I'm dance. 24 now. You so. want to dance as long as you possibly can. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the goal. Can. So we have a question. We decided we wanted to ask you. How's our posture? <laughs> Sit up. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine's really it's bad. It's Mary's good. is actually really no, good. Oh, absolutely. Well, so everyone can know, what's the secret to good posture? Seriously. The secret? Yeah. Well, I guess the... Like, uh, if you want to sit up straight, what is straight? Is straight like doing that? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I guess it's sort of thinking of your spine, like, expanding as you're sitting. You like think you're of rolling like, it up? Yeah, you think your, your head is touching the ceiling and the, the base of your spine is going down. So it's like an, a, you sort of <laughs> elongate your shoulders are down. We spend so much time like that in the studio and in dance every day that we don't really think about posture anymore. It's, and there's it's so much sort of, discipline to the art of ballet, right? I mean, and I know, and I know there's all of, most of the, the things that you hear in rehearsals are in French, right? Aren't the terms yes. that, the dance terms uh, in French? Tell us about that, because I know probably as confused as I am, so is all of our listeners. What are some of maybe the really common terms that you'll hear in ballet, and what do they mean? Well, ballet originated in France, and um, there's a, lo a lot of, backstories behind that but basically uh, we go into a class and what's oh, just quickly what's really cool is if you go to another country and you take a class they might be saying some words in their native tongue but everything is in French so it's sort uh, of connected that really way nice. which is really cool mm -hmm. um, there are some slight variations but uh, you would hear plie which means to bend tendu which means to stretch and bat ma, mm -hmm. grand bat ma uh, it means to beat so grand bat ma large, large leg. What does it mean to partner? Isn't that like oh, if, if you're doing a, a dance with two people, uh -huh. like a guy and a girl, or it can be just two dancers on stage, it's called a pas de deux, which means step for that? two nice. in French. Like or a pas de trois, which is step for three. <laughs> pas de quatre, which Sounds is step like for four. Sounds like the powder room. <laughs> 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 I love it. Nice, and one, one last question for you. Uh, because of your art as a dancer, do you feel that you move through your journey of life a little bit differently? I mean, what have you taken from dance in terms of how you live your life? Well, I would have to say it goes both ways. So what I take as, as a ballet dancer into life, um, it's, it's a lot of discipline. That, that even, even dancers that don't make it in, in the professional world, just students that take ballet, they've noticed just these dancers have incredible discipline. Mm. Um, that to take you through life. And then life um, into ballet? Life into ballet. Um, you sort of take life experiences and sort of incorporate them into whatever character you're playing. Because mm. I know a lot of dancers that, that sort of don't experience life and they can't, they can't really become a character. They can't, it's just so much harder for them to, to put themselves in that place. Mm. You can just take past life experiences and place them into that's a good way of living life no matter what you do, really. <laughs> David, I wish we had more time to chat with you. You've Absolutely. just been wonderful been to chat fun. with. Thank you so much. Yeah, and you have a lot of fans here in Orlando, so thank you for the incredible work that you do with the Orlando Ballet. Thank you. Yeah. You're here. Thanks for joining Joshua and I and our conversation with David Kayak. This was truly a pleasure. Uh, we hope you will go and check out a performance at the Orlando Ballet and say hi to David and the dancers. And if you do, make sure to tell him that Joshua and Mary say hello from the heart. <laughs>